Hello everybody, and welcome to Earthbound. Trust me, they hate with that, but then they give you the intro. Intro's really nice. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Earthbound! In this video today, we're gonna be just playing Earthbound. This is actually part one of a much bigger series. I'm gonna be being the whole entire game. I think this is gonna be really fun. So, I actually got a story for this. Um, a couple days ago, I was rummaging around in my drawers, because I was trying to organize some stuff, and I found my Super Nintendo Classic in the box, and I pulled it out, and the first game to come up was Earthbound. And so, you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this, and the last time I played it was two years ago. And, as you can see, I started two, like, accounts and stuff, and I'm actually on the one with TTT, I was just messing around with the names, honestly. So, yeah. Um, and the second one, I tried doing the regular name, but then I kind of gave up because the one with TTT, I actually got really far. So, yeah. But today we're starting a new account for videos. So, I'm just going to leave the other, like, Ness account. Because I could pick that up somewhere else some other time. But, yeah. I think we're just gonna go with the default names. Got Jeff. Oh, I love his name, Pooh. And your pet. Don't care, his name's King. Favorite home food, homemade food. Let's make it... Don't care. Pie, whatever. What's your favorite thing? Hammer, love. Gifts, slime, gaming, wow, boxing, I guess we're just going to do rockin'. Alright, yep. Let's get into Earthbound. The year is 1990X. But back to the start, they hit you with some pretty hard stuff, like pretty chaotic stuff. And then like that intro plays, it just makes everything better. So, yeah. Um, this game does have a happy vibe to it, but towards the end, I know I'm kind of spoiling it. Towards the end though, it does have a creepy vibe. So, just saying. Because it, it goes like up and down, like there's happy moments, and then there's like really creepy moments, so just be aware. Because there are uh, pretty weird moments in this game. What was that? What was that? What was that? Mom, what happened? Oh, no problem here. Yeah. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. All right. Changed out of my jammies, Mom. Okay. So first thing we want to do, actually I want to talk to our dog. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Because something happened outside, King. Um, so yeah, what we want to do first is go to this mountain over here. There's going to be a lot of cops. Meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Yeah, a lot of NPCs in this game have a lot of funny dialogue. So, I'm gonna, you might see me talk to a lot of NPCs. Some of these I haven't even talked to before um, in my other accounts. It's dangerous to go on the hilltop. Even I advise you to not go. It won't stop you, will it? I think he said something else. I didn't really read it right. Um, another cop. What do you have to say? Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? No, I don't. 
I guess it's earthbound time. I don't know. It's, it's late. Hey Ness, hiya buddy. Meteorite fell down and I went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out. Help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you. Whoops. I almost told you about my, uh. By the way, Ines. Oh, secret. Did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter. This is Layer, Layer X. A great house. Huh. That meter looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you ch will you do something with Pokey? Drive me nuts. Are you two friends? Ah, uh, yeah. And you live in the house next to his? I see. Hi, Pokey. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. You, you're getting the in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's way. Can't can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about this strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Okay. Let's go back home, then. Oh, by the way, I did see a present up here. Yeah. Bread roll inside. Ness takes it. Nice. And a lot of food, obviously, helps you regain HP. Um... HP means a lot of terms in different games. Usually it's health points. Usually it's heart points. But in this game, and probably many others, it's hit points. So, yeah. Hello. Oh, I hit L. Okay. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to walk, talk about tonight. It's late. Let's go off to your bed now. Let's go back to bed. Later that night. Who could that be? Who could that be knocking at my door? Forget how the rest of the song goes. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Do you answer it? Sure, Mom. Oh, it's Pokey. Hey, l listen to what I've got to say. I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, ma'am. You look lovely as usual, snicker. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landed left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. Blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. <laughs> when Dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my best friend. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me pick? Won't you help me find Picky? Yes. Oh, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand before we go. Why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I agree. Oh, I should take King along with me. Okay. You're a born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. I agree. Before we leave, we want to pick up the cracked bat in our sister's room. I don't know why a cracked bat's in her room, but whatever. Okay. Hello, sister. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. Make it hungry along the way. So here's a cookie. Thank you, dear sister. Okay, so we can store stuff with our sister. And it's actually kind of useful, but we can only store three things with her. So, yeah. Um... It means, yeah. I'm just gonna go through this. I already know what equipping is. The phone is ringing. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Working to exhaustion when you're young. 
If you ever heard of, of a weird saying like this, just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I'm not, you're brave. You can do it. Yeah, recording is basically saving. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Oop, it's creepy outside. Oh, um, so we're gonna be facing some enemies. Um, you guys are gonna hear me spamming A a lot. Twice. Oh, I forgot to equip the bat. No. I forgot to equip the bat. Thank you, King. Oh my gosh. Why is net Game over! Oh no! <laughs> Already we got a game over. I was expecting us to get a game over later on in the game. Wow. Okay, let's equip the bat first, <laughs> before we do anything. Oh. Wait, why does he keep on dodging when Ness tries to attack? Come on! There we go! Oh my gosh, that was unexpected. Oh, there's another crow. Oh my gosh, the crows keep on dodging our attacks. We're gonna die. There we go, finally. Oh, I gotta eat something. I'm gonna eat the cookie. Oh, no, I need to eat the cookie. I'm gonna die. Oh, level two. Pee pee is, um, you might be thinking, ha ha, pee pee, ha. Huh? Uh, no, but pee pee means psychic points. We could use those later on. Yeah, we have life up A now. That's good. Definitely use it in the future, but we don't have five psychic points right now. We're gonna avoid that crow. Um, dude, a snake is right there. No problem here. <laughs> I love how I didn't get too close and just said no problem here. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. Is that snake? Oh, never mind. It's not stuck there. Got the coil snake. Da, 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 da. Oh, we gotta eat the bread roll. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't. Oh. Thank you for not dying. I love that song. It's so good. Okay. A woof! I knew this was gonna be such a scary place. I would have come along. I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Oh, King, come on, man. Well, at least we found Pokey's brother. What? Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you, you're at least okay. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. I love that line. Or at least love that text. Yes, do you hear that buzzing noise? Sounds like a bee flying around. Yes, you can hear it. Oh. What's inside the meteorite? A bee, I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future. And 
In the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer sent to all the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is still well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are the that boy, Ness. This is, I believe, Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the eagle intent, evil, eagle, evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. <coughs> Zelda. Except they didn't put power in there. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go on now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Of course I listened to what you did, I just said it all out loud. Buzzbuzz now joins you. Alright. Ness, looks like you're really in it for a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said? Uh... I'm one of those boys, am I? Cause I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is pop heart is pounding right now. Yep. Sure is, Pokey. Let's get out of here. Like Scoob, let's get out of here. Now it's just walking back down the mountain. Walking down the mountain. Oh, okay. Back down the mountain. But there's a twist. Uh-oh. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. This is the first boss fight of the game? I don't know. Maybe it is. But yeah, you basically can't get hurt by this guy. Just watch. You, like, you can't get hurt at all. So, you just basically just keep on attacking. Yep. Keep on spamming a... Blah, blah, blah. Shield got stronger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't really matter. Because none of his attacks do anything. Go. <sighs> Come on. Just die. There we go. You won. Nice. 13, nice. We're definitely going to be getting a lot of HP in the future. Phew. I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me. So we can't relax yet. From now on, we'll be finding enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their mind. It is the truth. So listen, I I li I I listened. I I listened. Hello, Pokey's father. I'm really sorry that uh, you tr I trouble. Okay, whatever. I totally forgot what he said. Now both of you are really gonna get it. Basically, Pokey and his brother got beat um yeah so i kind of feel i uh, yeah, i kind of feel really bad for pokey and his brother because they were just trying to investigate like a meteorite and their father just beats them like shouldn't have been doing that so that i just think that's really sad that they were just 
mind their own business and their father friggin' This part's sad. Hey! I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! If you hear a dog barking, oh, that's my dog. Just saying. Ugh, gasp! I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See? You? Oh no, it looks like Ness is about to step on him. <laughs> it looks like he's about to step on him. No. He's already suffered enough. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus with your own... Oh wait, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Annette. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Alright. You're a very intelligent young man. And... Oh! The pain! Everything's getting dark. Ugh! Gasp! Before I pass on, I'm gonna give you something. This is Soundstone. You can record the melodies of, your, of from the eight sanctuary locations. Location... Uh... And this is stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story again? <laughs> no. Good. It's already done outside. It doesn't matter to me. Fading fast. A uh, gasp. You got the sound stone. Yeah, everything's good now, cause I don't know why they keep they don't keep the music the same. It just goes back to the regular music. That's what makes it even more sad, like that character's only like on screen for like three minutes tops. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time in another Earthbound video. Next time we're going to be going in on it and doing some stuff. See everybody next time. Bye bye.